Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a composite figure, a composite shape. And remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. So when we find the perimeter of something, we add all of the side lengths. In this video, we will go through two examples together, and then you'll try a practice problem on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find the perimeter. And again, all we need to do here is add all of the side lengths. So four inches plus nine inches plus 11 inches plus five inches plus seven inches plus four inches. So let's write this out off to the side. Perimeter equals, and I'm going to cross these off as we go along here. That's going to help us keep track of the side lengths and keep us organized. That way we don't miss anything or count anything twice. We will start up top with four inches. So four inches plus nine inches plus 11 inches plus five inches plus seven inches plus four inches. That's all of the side lengths. And now we can add. So four plus nine is 13, plus 11 is 24, plus five is 29, plus seven is 36, plus four is 40. And this is inches. So that's our perimeter, 40 inches. Now, before we move on to number two, I do wanna mention it does not matter what order we add the side lengths in. As long as they are all included, we will get the correct perimeter. So something to keep in mind. Let's move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, let's find the perimeter here. So I'm going to write this out off to the side. So perimeter equals, and let's start up top here with this three feet right here. So three feet plus three feet. And again, I'm crossing off as I go along here. And that's going to help us keep track of all of these sides. That way we don't skip anything or count anything twice. Plus four feet plus nine feet plus four feet plus 12 feet plus eight feet. And those are all of the side lengths. So let's add three plus three is six plus four is 10 plus nine is 19 plus four is 23 plus 12 is 35 plus eight is 40 three. And this is feet. So our perimeter here, 43 feet. Lastly, let's move on to number three, which is our practice problem. So you're going to do this one on your own. Here's number three. And for this one, you're going to find the perimeter on your own. So have paper and pencil ready. Feel free to pause the video and work through this or let the video play and I'll give you a minute and a half. Feel free to jump ahead to the answer when you're ready. Go ahead and start.
All right, so let's check our work here and see how we did. For number three here, the perimeter is 36 meters. And remember, it doesn't matter what order you added the side lengths in. So if your work is different than mine, that's okay. As long as all of the side lengths are included and you got the correct perimeter, that's what matters. So there you have it. There's how to find the perimeter of a composite figure. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.